To create an EC2 auto scaling group, log into your AWS account and head over to the EC2 dashboard. From here, in the navigation on the left, scroll down until you see auto scaling groups. Click create auto scaling group and read the initial information. Note that step one is going to be creating a launch template and then we'll go into creating an auto scaling group. When you're ready, click get started. And we'll start by choosing the machine image that we want to use for our group of instances. These can be any of the quick start options, a machine image that you've created yourself, or one from the community or the AWS marketplace. So I want to use the Windows Server 2016 image, and I'll select that one. And next you can specify the size of your instances. Note that AWS recommends that you leave this at the default, However, if you've got a specific reason for needing to adjust these, you can do that now. Next, we need to give our launch configuration a name. If you need to provide an identity and authentication management role, you can do that here. And you can also enable CloudWatch detailed monitoring. I don't need to, so I'll continue on to adding storage. So the default size of 30 gigs isn't going to be big enough for my hard drive. And I'll increase that out to 50. And then configure a security group. So the defaults here are fine, which allows RDP access to my instances. But on the next page, you'll note some warnings from AWS. And the first one is that my security group where I'm allowing RDP access means it's open to the entire world. I'm all right with that, so I'll continue on. And also note that my instance isn't eligible for the free usage tier. And that's because I've used a Windows image which has associated licensing costs. So check your other details, and when you're happy with them, click Create Launch Configuration. You need to create a key pair, and on a Windows machine, this will be used to generate your password so you can actually log into your instances. For Linux, however, this will be what you use to connect with SSH. So I don't currently have a key pair, and I'll create a new one, and I just need to give it a name. Download my key pair, keep that safe for later, and then click Create Launch Configuration. With my launch configuration created, I now need to create the auto scaling group itself. I'll call that TechSnips, and I'll specify my group size. So I want this group to start with two instances. Now it's picked my default network, and you can create a new one from here if you need to. Likewise, you can create a new subnet. However, if you click in the empty box, You'll be shown all of the subnets that are provisioned on your account at the moment, and I'll choose the one that I want to use. So next, let's create our auto scaling policies. You can specify that you want the group to stay at its initial size, but chances are when you're using an auto scaling group, you want it to be able to scale up and down depending on usage. So I'll specify my policy that it can scale between one and five instances, and this is going to be based on the average CPU utilization. You can also base this change on load balancer requests, network in and network out. Specify a target value of 90, and then continue to configure notifications. Here's where you can specify whether you want to send emails to a specific mailbox on certain events. I don't need any notifications, so I'll continue to tags, I also don't need any tags, so I'll continue to review. Check what you've specified here, make sure that you're happy with everything, and then click Create Auto Scaling Group. Click Close, and you're taken back to the Auto Scaling Group console. Notice that at the moment, the Instances column shows zero, but if we head to Instances on the left-hand side of the navigation, we'll see that we have two instances currently being spun up and that their status checks are on initializing. So if we head back to auto scaling groups, we now see that we've got two instances. And if we leave this for a while, which will likely take five to 10 minutes, one of those instances will be shut down because it isn't being used. So that's how to create an auto scaling group in Amazon EC2. Thank you for watching.